Hello, I am Nick Stellino. We are on the set of my television series, Nick Stellino Cooking with Friends. And every once in a while, you really get lucky and you get a pepper like this guy. <laughs> in case you don't know, I always became friends, me and Rick Moonen, by the way, from RM uh, Seafood in Las Vegas. We became friends by arguing incessantly over two bottles of wine <laughs> until <laughs> we decided that we like to argue so much we should be friends. Uh, People have seen you just about everywhere. Bravo Television, ABC, NBC, you're all over the country promoting all these wonderful ideas that you have. But I think it's important for people to know the answer to one question. Why do you do what you do <laughs> as a chef? When I was a youngster, Mary, I was pretty active. I'd say I was the ADD poster child, running around like crazy. My mom and my father both worked. We had a large family. When my mother came home, she had to cook dinner. So she'd bring me into the kitchen with her because she was afraid of what I was going to be doing somewhere else. And so she just gave me something to do. You know, and I love to taste and I love to eat. And I, I really started to get into the flavors of food and the chemistry that would go on. I'd be stirring some liquid and all of a sudden it would thicken. And it just intrigued me. And so that was my, that was my first connection with the kitchen. Uh, this is something that I must say is a common thread amongst all of us. Uh, talking about the family, but I can just imagine your mom must have been uh, quite a good uh, strategician in getting you in there. So, <laughs> if I ask you the, the, the first uh, memory of food, you know, a dish, a moment, a party, an event, uh, if you were to flash right on it, would you say, boom, that was the one thing that I, comes to my mind right now? Well, actually, two things come to my mind. One was when my family moved around a lot. I was born in Rochester, Minnesota. They moved to Lansing, Michigan. In Lansing, there was across the street from us a beautiful farm. And I used to walk through the farm, and, while the, and during the daylight, and the vegetables and fruits would be still warm. You'd pick them off the vine or something and taste them. Because I was very curious. Everything went into my mouth. And that was one of the first food memories. It just, I tasted nature. You know, and then we moved to Flushing, Queens, so we were close to Long Island, and my father was from Holland. He loved to go fishing, and we'd go, we'd go uh, vacationing on the North Shore, you know, Sag Harbor. We went clamming, and I remember just loving my father, wanting to do what he did. He shucked these large clams, and he, he was eating them, so I wanted to have one of them. And I remember this clam was in my mouth, which felt like for a half an hour. I wasn't going to spit it out, and that, but the, the end result was this unbelievable long lingering flavor of the ocean. So there was a one moment, the one connection of all the things that you've eaten that still lives inside your mind. No question. I can, I can flash back right to it. <laughs> well, I, you know, everybody knows my answer because I've been given it a thousand times, but uh, what's your favorite dish to eat? The one thing that you say, Boo, I love this. I can eat pasta every day in my life, I believe it or not. It. I, I really could. It, I love the simplicity of it. And its personality is dictated by the, the ingredients themselves. And my philosophy of cooking is to take something, because I'm the ocean guy, take something from the ocean. We're privileged to be able to get something. We had nothing to do with it. It's wild. It's not harvesting. It's, it's, it's hunting. So what we, we remove from our environment, leave it alone. Get out of its way. Accentuate it and enjoy it. And that's what pasta always does for me. Well, I love that answer because that, by the way, was the, exactly the same answer that I gave when my interview came about. <laughs> uh, I got to ask a difficult question. I'll tell you my answer already. Okay. My father used to love calf brains. That was one of his favorite things. Mm. I hated it. <laughs> I hated it when he made it. I tried many times. I say, I love my dad. I loved everything about what he made. But there was one dish that I couldn't stand. So if I was to ask you, one dish that you ate, it doesn't need to be a dish. It could be an ingredient, whatever. Yeah. But if I was to ask you, what is that you hate? What would that be? One thing that I can't seem to swallow is uh, sea cucumbers. I, <laughs> and of all people that I tasted sea cucumbers with, it was Andrew Zimmern, <laughs> the guy from Bizarre Foods. Yeah, I know. He always eats the weirdest He's stuff. He's a friend of mine. I went to visit him. We were in Minneapolis, and we went to a restaurant, a Chinese restaurant. They served me sea cucumbers, and there was no way in hell that I was going to be able to swallow that. Holy it was too weird. I never had it before, but I trust you. You're an adventurous guy. If you cannot eat it, I Run don't. away. <laughs> Uh, what is one food, one food element that you cannot give up for the rest of your life? You must have it no matter what. Ooh, wow, I love almost everything. Um, I am, I'm, I'm attracted to herbs. I, I remember early on in my career in, in Forbes magazine, they called me herb obsessed. Well, if I'm herb obsessed, so am I. Uh, so, so would be, you know, because I just think I love the intrigue of it all. You know, fresh thyme, what it adds to something, a bay leaf, everything. Herbs to me, I couldn't possibly live without. You know what is the thing that I'm sorry about? What I'm sorry about is the camera is taking us from there. Mm -hmm. 
As the camera is taking us from there, they cannot see what is that I see. Every time I have chefs coming on board on the show, I tell them, you know, what you see is not what the camera sees. Mm -hmm. But what I am most sorry about is the camera does not see the darting on the eyes, <laughs> the expression ever changing as if it was a series of frames within the context of a movie. Because that, it, to me, is, I think, really the true painting of who you are. You are enthusiastic about life. You are like a child. Yeah. And I don't care if you make it to 95 or 155. If you can maintain this, it will be inspiring. I must say that I find you inspiring for this continuous drive that you have on how you go about things. In the scheme of things, I say to people, it is not how much money you have in the bank. It's not how successful you are or you will recognize. But ultimately, it's the company you keep. And the fact that you're my friend, it makes me very proud. Let me do something very Sicilian. Uno di qua, uno di la. My name is Nick Stellino, Rick Moomin, the coolest dude who ever lived from RMC Food in Las Vegas. From my heart to your kitchen. Arrivederci e grazie.